So Disney are losing subscribers. Imagine they've lost 4 million subscribers so far this year. 4 million. How can a company stay alive like that? And they're doing this to themselves. This is crazy, man. Disney stock falls in uncertainty over streaming profitability and ad weakness. Here you see, right? Market opening yesterday, there were $126 per share. Then at night before the market closes, they were down 8% for the day, bringing the price for the whole day to $92.31. They've lost 4 million subscribers for the first quarter and then April 1st, including the loss of 300,000 in the US and Canada. And but the company now already streaming losses. <laughs> They're trying to make it sound good. You can't lose subscribers by the millions consistently and keep a profit a profitable company. It's just not going to happen. This Bob Iger is an idiot. They should have just left JPEG there. But whatever happened to Disney, they caused it themselves, right? Now they're trying to find a way to stop the bleeding. They're trying to integrate Disney Plus and Hulu in a one app experience in the USA by the end of 2023. <laughs> trying to hold on to Hulu for help? That's not going to happen. They're shooting themselves in the foot. We've got a bunch of idiots working for them. Shares dropped 44%. That's the worst they've had since 1974, since almost 50 years. And they keep losing. They keep bleeding subscribers. They lost 123 billion of market value. 123 billion. Are you serious? In 2022, they lost 123 B, B with a B. Billion. Are you crazy? How can you operate a profitable company, Iga? What is, do you, do you know? And they wonder why, why is this happening? Why are we losing subscribers? Why are we losing billions? Because you're hiring activists. You're not hiring people that can actually do the job, that can bring back wholesome family fun. You're hiring people based on their ideology to push your message. When you hire activists, their goal is not your bottom line. Their goal, if you don't know a bunch of idiots, when you ha activists are like cultists, they're like religious people. Ever had a religion uh, uh, a religious friend always trying to preach the gospel? They're always trying to win you over. But the difference between religious people and these activists, these cultists, is they push your message by, by, by the means of fascism. To either accept what our ideology or will punish you will try to take everything away from you try to ruin your life ask me what the correlation is between disney and entertainment family channel and governor ron DeSantis. why are you choosing to become a political company instead of an entertainment family friendly company and you're trying to push all this ag agenda this rainbow lgbt stuff on children it's not even acceptable to push heterosexual stuff on kids why would you want to push a way of life that a whole bunch of people majority of the people in the world don't really agree with so you're alienating your fans people that have been with you right from the start to appease this new group of people that don't even buy merch Majority of these people still live in their parents' basement in their late 20s and 30s. They didn't even have money to afford Starbucks, let alone buy a Mandalorian toy. But these are the people they're constantly trying to please. So, the fans have been there from the beginning are like, well, good luck then. You can have your people, the new fans you're trying to appease, we're going to go over here to Illumination. Illumination are interested in making wholesome family fun movies. 
nostalgic movies. But Disney, on the other hand, is pushing identity politics, pushing transhumanism. People don't really care about this stuff. You want your kids to watch a cartoon where you don't have to worry what message they're being shoved down their brains. If you're busy doing stuff and you give your child an iPad to watch a movie, a cartoon, you want to have rest of mind. You want to be rest assured that they're not going to come over to you later on and ask, Dad, what does a no stuff 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 mean? Like, come on, man. Parents don't want this stuff. I'm a parent and I have to constantly worry about my child watch. I can't turn off my brain and go and chill. She's watching something. I have to be there like a supervisor. We don't want this crap. How many times are people going? The only way they're going to listen is if you pay them back with your pockets by not paying them back at all. Not buying their merch, not paying for their subscription. Turn the whole nonsense off. You know, in war times, right, when someone gets their leg blown up or get like a big hole in their chest and they're still moving around for a couple of seconds before their brain sends a signal to your body that, like, oh, I think we're dead. And then they slump and just die over. Disney's dead, but they don't know it yet. The signal hasn't been transmitted yet. It's a dead company walking. No, you have all the means of making billions, but how can you keep leaking money like this? You can't keep leaking money. A ship can stay afloat, a boat can stay afloat with a big gaping hole in it. Sooner or later, it's going to sink. Disney will sink. Let them sink.